Xavier turned it over 17 times. Marquette only seven. And Marquette won by a penny. Toss and the tap that were underway. Xavier trolling. Jimmy, what should we pay attention to early on in this game? Some matchups. Omax oh, Prosper, Kobe Jones, because of the size, and also Tyler Cola kind of playing inside, not a potential guard. Jerome Hunter. As Conco misses his first shot. Here's Cola, pick and roll. Score the jump shot allows him to create off the dribble, and that's the mismatch right there. That I think Xavier will try to exploit, which is Jerome Hunter at 6 8, guarded by Tyler Cole. Jerome Hunter, the Indiana transfer, Stevie Mitchell, and Nudgy with the rebound. Out of bounds, and we'll head the other way. In the first possession, I like this from Cam Jones because. Instead of selling for a jump shot early, kind of get your feet wet, feel good about yourself, and you have a reverse layup. Always good for a scorer shooter to see the ball go through the nets. Iguodaro showing his versatility at 6'9", bringing the ball up the floor. Now inside, corner, Prosper, pure. Olivier, Maxence, Prosper. They call him Omax. He's from Montreal, Canada. Sophomore. Xavier won 82 60 last night in the semifinals. Marquette beat UConn 70 68 last night as well. Call it the runner. And then Florida, they say it. He's got some Steve Nash skills, and I believe him. Meanwhile, Kobe Jones, no, Hunter with the rebound, has it partially blocked. Nicodero. Marquette, ranked sixth in the nation, 27th and six, 17 and three in the Big East. Well, Xavier's gonna get a heavy diet of this drag pick and roll with Tyler. Kolak and also Iguodaro inside again playing at his own pace. Here it is once again in the middle, so tough to stop. They have so many options off the dribble. Kolak, excuse me. Yes, Kolak, and now Stevie Mitchell with the follow. Well, the dribble penetration sinks the defense, and this time Stevie Mitchell doesn't stay married to the corner, kind of follows that shot up. Conco took his eye off of Mitchell, which allowed him to get back door. Added bonus from Mitchell can drop in some buckets. So Stevie Mitchell with two points last night against Connecticut in 26 minutes. He's a terrific defender, one of the best defenders on this team. Well, and then when on the 15th of February, Stevie was 6 for 11. He had 17 points to go along with some outstanding defense. Averages seven a game. So Marquette with some full court pressure. Kunkel, who played some great defense last night against UConn. Xavier one for five to start. A reaching foul on um, Kolek. That's his first. Kolek was in foul trouble as well yesterday. Yeah, four fouls late in the game, but he figured out a way to manage that. So did Chaka Smart. Joplin also got into foul trouble yesterday. With a girl as well. Keep our eye on that early in this game. Nudgy calling for it. With the girl on his back. They swing it. Boom, deep, short. Gets his own rebound for the bucket off the window ball. Cam Jones clears it. They're ready to take it into the front court. Jones. Memphis, Tennessee. Iguodaro puts it on the deck high. Spin, jump, hook. No. Colby Jones had it picked out of his pocket. 
intercepted by Stevie Mitchell. And Mitchell called for the foul. That's the peskiness right there, Stevie Mitchell. You always got to be on the lookout. Even though you secured the rebound, you got to understand that he may be lurking somewhere behind him. You see him. This is after he got the deflection, and I think that it was the hold of the right arm for the official. I think Pat Dris Driscoll made the call. David Jobble checks in, sophomore from Milwaukee. Had a great game yesterday. He wears number 23. 17 points off the bench. Six man. Boom. Rising fire. Crossbow with the ball. 10 2. Marquette off to a terrific beginning. Xavier ice cold to start. Colin. Pure. How simple can it get? And the Golden Eagles are smacking around the musket. From Oakland, California, Zero Sule. At forward, six foot eight, a senior from Columbus, Ohio, number two, Jerome Hunter. At guard, six foot six, a junior from Birmingham, Alabama, number three, Go. At guard, six foot four, a senior from Hebron, Kentucky, number five, Adam Kunkel. And at forward, seven foot, a graduate student from Newark, Indiana, number 24, Chuck Nunji. The head coach of the Musketeers in his sixth season, Sean Miller. And now the starting lineup for the Marquette Golden Eagles. At guard, six foot four, a sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee, number one, Pam Jones. Guard, six foot two, a sophomore from Reading, Pennsylvania, number four, Stevie Mitchell. At guard, six foot three, a junior from Cumberland, Rhode Island, number 11, Forward, six foot eight, a junior from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, number 12, Olivier Maxent And in forward, six nine, a junior from Chandler, Arizona, number 13, Oso. in his second season, Shaka Smart. God, I know a guy, guy. then there was a guy. All right, so here we go. Xavier trailing 12 to 2. They trailed by 13 in the quarterfinals against DePaul. Came back and won that game. Trailed by five versus Creighton last night. So Sean Miller trying to settle his guys down. Desmond Claude is checked in. Jones down the lane. 14 foot jump shot. Short. Out of bounds. And it is Marquette basketball. Wait, see the length right now Marquette is having an effect early on Jones and company. They may not get the block, but you're there contesting shots. Hence, early in this game, Xavier one for nine. Damn Jones brings it up. Nice bounce back. Shoot it performance. After going four to 16 in the quarters against St. John's. 
at that 14 point game on 5 to 10. Couple the other way. Yeah, Chuck Smart said that Cam Jones, David Joplin have to be the two keys from a scoring perspective if we want to win. Nudge. Claus weaving gets to the hole and the fresh banks one in. Yeah, beautiful move, patience, but also how about Nunji sealing off his defender, opening the driving lane for Claude to finish. Inside Crossman, and he's hacked, and we'll go to the line. Senior foul starts number 24, Jack Nunji, his first. Well, this is a screen assist almost by Jack Nunji. As he comes in here, he's going to seal his man inside. That's going to open it up for Desmond Claude to fly right inside, seal him, deliver inside, great play. Nunji picks up the foul, his first third team foul. As Olivier Maxence Crossman, they call it Omax. Makes the first. Here's a young man that is of Haitian descent. He speaks four languages. Haitian Creole, French, English, and Spanish. Sister Cass plays in Notre Dame. I say, can she beat you? He's like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Second one go. Listen, the outstanding job Short he did goal. against strategic Final yesterday by Shaka Smart by putting Omax on Jordan Hawkins. Influenced him defensively. Didn't, never allowed him to get comfortable offensively. And you can see some of the same effect early in this game with his defense. There's Kumpel bringing it up the floor. Sule Boom. Guarded by Sean Jones, the pesky defender. Seven to shoot. Jones trying to get under Boom. Three to shoot. Pumper has to hurry. Well defended by Marquette. Well, beautiful double team. Unfortunately, Nunji received the rock at five seconds. So once the double team occurred, you were forced to have a rush shot. That again is the timing defensively, the schematic part of the defense for Marquette. Kohler has got that ball on the string. Here's another one. Rips off. Backs it out to his teammate. Joplin, Joplin to Ross. Off the heel. Offensive rebound, Marquette. Joplin, rising. Everything they get from him is extra. Best score game last night, 17 since a career high 28 against the ball. And a foul coming up. We'll go back to the double team. Five seconds left on the clock. And then once Nunji puts it down, that's when the double team occurs. And then this time, Kolek usually would drive it left off of that screen, but chose to go right, sucked in the defender. David Joplin able to knock in that corner three. Chase Ross picks up his first. Third team foul against the Golden Eagles. Prosper back in the game. Ross takes a seat. Here's Claude. Xavier trying to figure things out. Marquette really pressing him on defense. Eight to shoot. Conkle locks it. Almost threw it away and does throw it away. Turnover is a big story, as we mentioned. In the second game, Xavier turned it over 17 times, lost by one. Marquette turned it over only seven times in that game. Those 17 turnovers resulted into 21 points for Marquette. And a close make game, those empty possessions always come back to haunt you. Sean Jones backs it up. Coleman, baseline. Backs down his man. Six to shoot. Joplin up top. Three to shoot. Jones has to hurry. Spins. And it's outstanding patience that time. Even though the shot clock was going down, Marquette never wavered in regards to what they wanted to do. They still. Jones and Claude collide. Turn it over. Inside cross with jump hook. No. But a five. 
And Xavier looks rattled. Well, they do. And it's a reason why. Patience. Jones able to spin tight in the middle, recognizing where the shot clock was at. Never panicked. And this Marquette team seems the more subtle team offensively and defensively. They're so active with their hands, deflections, improper positions to help. So Prosper at the line is put back with 1.7 seconds left. Beat Xavier in February. 69-68. And the second one goes. Oh, back to the game high seven. Igadaro back in the game for Marquette. Xavier trying to figure things out. They shot 49% and 47% in the tourney so far tonight. Two for 11 with three turnovers to start. Edwards on the handoff. Jones trying to get hard to get to a sweet spot. Boom. On a switch. Gold guarding him. Six to shoot. Hunter cuts it down. Nice play as Colby Jones lays it in. Yeah, beautiful find by Hunter. Accepting the double team, and Colby Jones did the smart thing. Once his defender turned his head, guys, that's when you talk to go back door. Backward, skipping. Out of bounds, and it's Xavier basketball. John Jones did an excellent job of pushing Hunter up, but... Miller really getting on his players about stepping up individually and taking on the challenge defensively. He looked at each player and said, they're saying you can't guard me and there's nothing you can do about it. You have to take it in the chest and step up one-on-one. -on -one. All right, Christina. Cheers, Hunter. Squad, baseline. Sule Boom is the player that Sean Miller has to get going offensively. And a foul has been called. Looks like Stevie Mitchell. Sean Miller remembers his days, his final game playing for Pitt in the Big East tournament. He told us they lost to Miami. A Miami team that was 1-17, and 17, and it still burns in his mind. Cross court, boom, quick release. And an air ball. That one deflected out of bounds, though. So Xavier will hold on. Well, even on this flare screen, until they boom, Stevie Mitchell doesn't give up on the play. So... Disruption is the key with Marquette's defense and is working early. 15 footer. That's an air ball. Marquette with it. Looks like a block shot. Third block shot of the game for the Golden Eagles. Cole always in control. Down the lane on Nunzi. Flipped it up. No. That's outstanding defense by Nunji. Had the size advantage, didn't reach down, used it, forced Kolek into a tough shot. Now a switch. Nunji's guarded by Stevie Mitchell. Let's see if they can get it to him. And a swing that back around. Now the switch came back out. To them, and Kolek comes over and knocks it away. Defense. They're playing defense on the string right now. Gus, and that was excellent anticipation by Kolek. Cam Jones. Strong. Claw. With the board. Brings it up the floor. Boom. Drive. Stop. Inside. Hunter. Got it. Steve Mitchell got hit on that pick. That opened up an opportunity for Sule Boom to be open. An excellent find and read. And Hunter doing the right thing. By diving to the basket, able to get two feet in the paint and score. Jones guarded by Boone. Played up to the baseline, the runner, and it goes down. Kill a 10. 23 8. Marquette can do no wrong. 
And another block shot. That's the fourth. Cam Jones down the lane in the corner. Mitchell, pure. Be precise, making the right reads, the right passes. This Marquette team, the whole time has been on the mission. They felt that even though they were the number one seed, they felt like they were the underdog in this tournament. What kind of adjustments does Xavier need to make to get back in this game? Well, one, you can turn the basketball over, but you have to be precise in your passing. Also, you have to move this defense. If you're stationary, it plays right into the hands of what Marquette wants to do defensively. Boom. They're looking for Nunji's. Got it on the box. Baseline. Nice play as Claude banks it down. But to see the ball move from east to west, sideline to sideline, that shifts the defense. That time, Nunji evaluated where the double team was coming from and hit Claude on the backside. Once again, for a backdoor cut. Chase Ross off the mark. 26 10. Kunkel bounce pass. Nunji. He's got Ross on his back. Here comes the double. Nunji. And another turnover for Xavier. They step on the baseline. That's their fifth. Well, and I like running the offense at the backside of it through Nunji in the post. Why? Because you know you're going to get a double team. When you have the double team, the weak side, that's where the advantage is at. If you can get to it, a two-on-one or a backdoor cut like we saw. Colin steps into a three. And Tyler Colin, the Big East Player of the Year, has seven. 29-10. Guess that's the difference in his game right there. The willingness to take that shot and make it. Nunji is contested by Igadero. Jones stop and stop the verse and again. It's good. Unbelievable start for Marquette. 31 to 10, largest lead of the game now. Xavier with no answers. Here's Nunji. Jump up. Xavier, 5 for 19. Back quarter, Cam Jones and Tyler Kolek. Something else. Back door. Kolek. Right now, Marquette's running a clinic. 33 to 10 in the Big East Championship. The class that is. Desmond Claude had 11 against Creighton last night. He's a freshman from New Haven, Connecticut. Biggie's all freshman team. That ends a 12 to 2 run. Coleman. Weaving. Ross hard to the basket. And a whistle and foul. Well, guys, it worked one time for Killer Cam. He went back to the well. Nice little reverse layup. Excuse me, I'll take two of those and then call it. Did we keep bringing that heat on defense, keep the pressure on the ball, and on offense, continue to keep cutting? I want to see multiple cutters to the basket, Gus. Okay, Christina. Now going from New Zealand. Kolick, Jones, Joplin. Joplin back in its band, and Kolick deep. Sule Bull's got to get going, he has no points. John Jones doing a good job, Jones very quick with a low center of gravity. Now, Tyler Kolek is not disappointed early in this game. It's the reason why he's Big East Player of the Year. The ability for him now to shoot that little runner. But here's the thing. 
28% shooter last year from behind the 339 this year. He put in the work and paid off, not just for himself, but more importantly, for his team. He's from Cumberland, Rhode Island, grew up a big Boston Celtics fan. I asked him who his favorite Celtic was. He said, Paul Pierce. That's my guy. Pierce, boom, down the lane. He comes up short. And once again, Xavier denied. Boom is 0 for 5. And those shots, too, because you're not making shots, you kind of force it a little bit more. That's a shot that Sule Boom normally makes, but he left that one a little short. Now, again, the contest was up top, but also sometimes you get frustrated because you want to see the ball go in when you're not being effective early. He had 23 last night. Cola, pump fake, dribble drive, tries to kick, deflected. Kunkel picks it up. Kunkel, now he'll peel it back. Joplin got back on defense. Crossed him over. Boom. Kunkel shows it. Off the dribble. Air ball. Two outstanding plays, guys. John Jones closes out. Forces Sule Boom off of it. That time Kunkel with the pump fake with Ben Gold doesn't just stop. He ends up contesting the shot at the end. Jerome Hunter in. Nunji will come in. Colby Jones. And Edwards check out. Nunji comes back in and then the dog comes right back. Also, couple underneath. No, but Nunji is there for the tipping. I love the drop that time by Funky. The choice of defense to react and Nunji able to wedge himself inside for the putback. Jones, not a threat to really shoot it. Fires it. Hunter clears the rebound. 4-16 to play in the first half. 33-14. See if Xavier can go on a little run here. And that Marquette defense has been stifling. Euros check flop. No. Drawn Hunter. Got it. Boom. A three. Hunter with a rebound. Kunkel a three. Kill it. That's Xavier's first three tonight. Timeout Marquette. On this Marquette team. He's been getting under Sule Broom. You know who used to do that? Who? Muggsy Bowl. Right. Because now you're uncomfortable. The moves that you want to make, it's tougher because why? You trying to dribble the ball around Sam Jones, you're not as comfortable because he's lowered to the ground and can, you know, possibly affect your move like that. Cam Jones falls as he takes a shot. Here comes Xavier trying to find some rhythm. And momentum. Kunkel down the lane. Strong to the basket and in. Pace. A little bit more pace to the offense for Xavier. Allows him now to get into the sets quicker. Moves the defense in that little handoff. Got Kunkel an easy layup down the lane. Kohler got the mark. 9 0 run for Xavier now. Claw. Kunkel deep three. Hunter with the rebound. And he can't convert. Jones a three. In and out. So they build the other way. Boom. Drive baseline. Stop. Mid range and a whistle of the blocking block. Well, the Marquette defense has been great. Listen, when you are lacking size inside, you've got to have Bulldogs on the perimeter. They're going to lock up, and that's what you see from Marquette. So you make up what you don't have in rebounding by being active defensively with steals, with deflections, with you know, taking charges. That is what makes up this Marquette defense and why it's so difficult to kind of navigate. Here. Stevie Mitchell picked up his third foul. That'll send Sule Boom to the line. This is Xavier's first trip to the line tonight. Boom gets the first free throw to go. He's an 87% free throw shooter. That's his first point of the game. And Sule Boom averages 17. 
really believe Gus, if Xavier can kind of put on the run, get this lead under double digits, I think you feel like you've accomplished something going into halftime, not playing your best, but yet but still, you're able to get the lead under 10 points. That could be a goal for this team to have some motivation coming out in the second half. Jacqueline shows it inside and banks it down, plus the five. Now David Joplin, beautiful pump fake, understanding that Jack Nungy is right in the middle of the lane. And that pump fake, watch how it freezes Nungy just enough right there for Joplin to get it up and in. And then you love the strength to be able to battle and fight through the contact. David Joplin, the Big East Sixth Man of the Year. Averages 10 points in two games versus Xavier this season. 36 to 20. Claw brings it up under pressure. Diamond press. I love the switching defenses employed by Shaka Smart. Always trying to keep his opponents off balance, guys. Edwards. Turn around, jumper. Not a good shot. 36 20, Kolick dancing. Jones, top of the yard, Prosper. 149 to go. Nunji. Drop step baseline, pushed off the ball and somehow got the jump hook to go. But quick transition, Nunji able to seal himself on the block. When you go quickly, eliminates the double team. He went baseline. Great read. The kick. Joplin. Scott. Joplin. That's David Joplin. The coaches love him. They just want him to continue to mature. They think they've got a special one. Down the lane. Kobe Jones has been quiet. Not anymore. Under a minute to play. Xavier gets back into a 2-3 zone. Kohler, yo-yos. Cam Jones. He wasn't even ready for that one, but he still let it go, guys. Desmond Claw guarded by Jones. Cut off, tried to split the defense and turns the ball over. And jump ball is the call with the arrow in favor of Marquette. Well, Nunji able to get deep post position, but he went before the double team. Saw it coming from up top where Cam Jones was coming. Gave himself enough room on the baseline. Bigodoro, Bigodoro hit him with the chest, but he's still able to fight through that contact. But right back at you, David Joplin, square up, have confidence, and let it go. Three ball. Smart named one of the ten semifinalists for the Naismith National Coach of the Year. He was the Big East Coach of the Year, leading Marquette to the regular season title. After they were picked to finish ninth at the beginning of the year. 11 seconds. Tyler Cohen. Jones. Cross court. Prosper. Rebounded. Kobe Jones from half court. And that's the end of the first half. Marquette led by as many as 23. They played almost a perfect first half of that. So we start the second half. Xavier will have it. Colby Jones, the inbounder. Here's Boom. He averaged 17 points a game, only one point in the first half. Kunkel with some big shots to help Xavier. Gained some confidence in that first half after trailing by as many as 23. Kobe Jones short on you. I think that's where the frustration is at, too, for the Xavier offense. Those are the shots that they're accustomed to seeing going in, and it's not happening thus far for Xavier. Kolick 
Drives to the basket on the skip and just banks it down. He makes everything look so easy, effortless offensive. Well, because he can get to a spot. Again, he's a lefty. So you got to keep that in mind when you're trying to guard him that he wants to get to that left hand and he's big enough and strong enough to finish through contact. He's got a game high 11 up top. Humble. That Marquette defense has just been sensational tonight. But it's been strategic in this fight. They close down the driving lanes. They operate on the screen together. Not a lot of space. Long closeouts to shooters, shorts to those that don't shoot it well. Just discipline all the way around. Kolek on the half and with English. Tyler Kolek with 13. 43 to 24. Darrow with the rebound. Xavier, one for ten from the three-point line. And on the season, they shoot 40% from the three. The first layup off the mark for Iguodaro. Face line. Nicely done as Jones attacks and bakes it in. Nice little transition basket that time. Heads up play that time by Sule Boom to get it up quickly up. to Jones so he could navigate his way on the baseline to get two. Now call it with his post move. Sule Boom transferred from UTEP. He scored over 2,000 points between UTEP and Xavier. The Olympic scoring point guard. Crosses over, hangs in the air, no call. Officials letting him play. Now Prosper. Nanji with position. And a whistle. Igadero will be called for the foul. Two feet in the paint, loves to get to that left hand. Once again, off balance, but maintains concentration and shot to smart. Loves him some cold. He's just so relaxed is what I like about his game. Quiet confidence. Understanding what his role is, and I'm telling you, he added the scoring aspect. So, remember last year, he would turn down a lot of shots, wouldn't be as aggressive to look for. As he's added another dimension to his game and made this offense much more difficult to contain when he's looking for a shot. Foul, wow, meanwhile, called on Colby Jones. Xavier, one for 11 from behind the three point line. Hey, think about the job they're doing on Sule Boom. In the two games that they played this year, he's averaged 20 points, shot 50% from the field, 38 from three. Okay? And right now, no rhythm. He's 0 for 7, 0 for 4 from the three point line. So you're talking about taking a key player or key players out of the offense. I mean, all the way out of the offense. Yes, but it's collectively as a group, too, though. It's not just one individual for. Marquette. They put in the team, uh, outstanding team defense. Nice win, Kolek. Kicks it back down. That one, an air ball for Joplin. Forty-three to twenty-six here in the Big East Championship game at Madison Square Garden. That's a lot of this Xavier offense, even though they're the fifth in the nation in a three-point shooting, right? They're not a high-volume three-point shooting team. Take about 21, make about seven. A lot of this offense is predicated on being able to drive the basketball, get in between the gaps, get some post-ups. Marquette is taking all of that away. Lundy. One for 12. Jones breaks to the ball, throws down the lane. The teardrop rattles down. You see the difference, Gus? The operation of Marquette's offense are getting to their spots where they need to get to. 
Colby Jones rims off. And Marquette coming the other way. Colby. Jones turns the corner off the glass. No, but a foul. Now Cam Jones. All Big East second team. Ninth in the Big East in scoring. There's a reason why. Nice little soft floater. Nungy. Might be seven foot, brother. But you need a couple of Eight points tonight on the season, averaging 15. First one good, and three things you three things you need to know about Cam Jones. His favorite superhero, Jack Jack from The Incredibles. Pet peeve, negative energy. In 10 years, I'll be living with two English bulldogs. All right. Love the pet peeve, though. Negative energy. I always try to stay positive through some adversity. And that's what Xavier is trying to do right now with this staunch defense by Marquette. And they're taking everything away from what Xavier was successful at in their past game last night. Marquette defense has been so good. Xavier, 28% shooting from the field. Cam Jones fouls. And he'll go to the line. Marquette foul starts at number five, Chase Watts. Second. Chase Ross call for the foul is second. Foul. Second team foul against Marquette. Colby Jones, Colby Jones Jr. Here. from Birmingham, Alabama. 14 points Three last night against Creighton. Averaging close to 16 on the year. All right. oh, second team used his big body that time to kind of post up a little bit more. And I think this is a game, too, where you meet, you miss a Zach Freeman. You say, why? Well, because you can play the high-low offense, get some point paints in there. He's a senior, averaging 15 points, but he gives you an opportunity. At 6-9. Yep, at 6-9 to score some baskets inside. Fremantle ruled out for the season on Sunday, had left foot surgery Tuesday. Four to shoot. Claw to pull in the run. He's short on it. Joplin with the rebound. Marquette, 41 possessions as they bring it up the floor. Even One on, turnover. Even on that shot, Gus, Sule Boone didn't look comfortable shooting the shot. He was indecisive of what he wanted to do. Great move to go back door. Higadero. Higadero doesn't get a lot of touches on the post, but he does have a soft touch and another steal on a cola in transition. Largest lead of the game for the Golden Eagles, 51 to 27. Nobody expected this. Nobody. We expected off of what we saw defensively from Xavier last night that this was going to be a dog fight. But I think the early pressure of Marquette being able to take a little bit of the swag and confidence away from Xavier. Xavier not seeing the ball go in. The relentless defense and the pressure that Marquette puts on you forces you to second guess some shots. He's worked in favor thus far. Marquette looking every bit of number one seed and the outright champ for the Big East this year. Call it casually brings it into the front court. Joplin gets it back, gets the puck, he's organized. Prosper keeps it alive. Look at the hustle. Look at the grit. Kicks it out. Kohler. New shot clock. Baseline. Prosper. Got it out. Jones. Baseline. Joplin. Rise and fire. Xavier looks demoralized. Seven on run for Marquette. 54 to 27. Conco tried to feed the post, does. Out the basket. Jerome Hunter. Yes. 
Just the last possession by Marquette epitomizes the junkyard dog mentality of this team. The underdog mentality. We were picked ninth. Didn't think highly. Yet we won the Big East regular season. Yet we still were looked upon as underdogs in the Big East tournament. And they're playing like that. You combine talent with discipline and a chip on your shoulder. You get what you're getting right now with Marquette. Sean Jones locked it. And out of bounds. Elijah Tucker comes in now for Xavier. Sean Miller going to his bench, deep in his bench. Tucker played a little last night, had a bucket at the end of the game when it was decided. Guarded by Joplin. And Joplin called for five. A little adjustment too because that time is Desmond Claw kind of manning up the point guard position with Sule Boom out of the lineup right here. So a little different look for Xavier trying to figure out ways to get some kind of jump start to this offense to get something positive. But again, it's the Marquette. Golden Eagles that don't give up, they're relentless in their pressure. A lot of times you see a lull throughout the course of the game sometimes with a team defensively. Not thus far from Marquette. Sam Jones back in. Kolick will take a rest. 54 to 29 and a foul up top. Marquette foul number 12. That's going to be Prosper. His second. Gets it back out to Colby Jones. Now Claude in the corner of three. Three and goal. Xavier two for 14 from the three point line. 54 32. Prosper. Drive down the lane and a whistle. 11 33 to play. In the second half of the Big East Tournament Championship game. Marquette inbounding the basketball. Joplin on the catch. Iguodaro. Joplin across the lane. Drops step. Hunt fake. Block. He gets it back. Drops to the basket. Missed the layup. Xavier the other way with Colby Jones. Xavier shooting 27%, 14% from the three-point line, and 40% from the free-throw line. It's been a nightmare for the X-Men. Meanwhile, Nunji. Nunji. Finally, Colby Jones able to get something two feet in the paint, and then when the help came, Nunji was able to free himself clear as Igadaro had to help up. Jones is up. And Nunji will be called for an over the back five. Nunji took a elbow in the lip yesterday against Creighton. He fought through it. Yeah, you, 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 you know what? I believe this Marquette team is so connected. We always talk about accountability. Rashad well, Smart allowed his team each individual to pick roles and responsibilities for each other. So they held each other accountable and they accepted what their teammates needed and wanted from them. That was the first step to how this team kind of grew and came together. 
Hence, the trust has been there from day one. And as he told us in the locker room before the game, every game they have themes. And the theme for today's game is passion. And they have certainly played this passion since the goal began. Seven to shoot, Cam Jones deep. Batted out by Gold, and a new shot clock. Kodak back in, driving. Edwards rips it away. Kunkel stops, lets it go for three, and hits. Adam Kunkel, senior. From Hebron, Kentucky, transferred from Belmont. Ten on one. For Xavier. Marquette's led by as many as 27. This kid's got a game. 18 points. Back door. Jones. Cut off. Pivots. Turn around. Strong. Hard drive. Cam Jones. Stevie Mitchell back in. Marquette playing with an ease. Kohler spinning. And he gets a steal. Hands it off. Goal. And a foul coming up on Prosper over the back. Tyler Kolick right here, able to square up. Edwards gave him too much room. Listen, during the course of the season, now he has 18 points right now. Tyler Kolick averaged 20 points, shot 50%, 411 from three. So very confident that he could score against this Xavier team. And right back on the mark right now, eight for 16, shooting 50%. But the, the confidence there, and Edwards had to give a little space because he didn't want him to drive by for too much, allow Kohler to square it up and knock it in. Kohler guarding Kunkel. Boom, a three. Not his day. No. What we saw with Ryan Nimhart last night, they, they kind of stymied what Nimhart effectiveness was last night. Prosper picks up his four. 17 fouls against Marquette, so Xavier will shoot one and one. Chaka's going with like a little bigger lineup for Ben Gold. And also, Iguodaro inside. Gold can play on the perimeter a little bit more, can stroke the jump shot. And Edwards missed the front end of the one and one. Pollock. Takes his time as he comes up the floor. Back door, Stevie Mitchell, a foul. Nice pass by Iguodala. 7.52 to play second half, 57-37, mark that. One good. Mitchell had a career high 19 points at Villanova on New Year's Eve. Pennsylvania Gatorade Player of the Year and Mr. Basketball as a senior. Sule Boom still trying to get into the act. Boom. With only one point, 0 for 9 from the field. And that's been that kind of deck. Yeah, but it, example right there, Chase Ross. He didn't have to really hustle for that. He didn't have to deny the wing. But that's a staple point in the mantra of this team is that until you hit zeros, you continue to compete. Boom. 
Five to shoot. Kunkel. Runner. Short. Long rebound. Picked up. Pulled. Kunkel again on that baseline. Reverse layup. Won't go. And a whistle and foul coming up. That's going to be on Chase Ross. His third. And Xavier shoots one and one. David Chocolate into the game for Marquette. Places gold. Colby Jones. Colby Jones comes in. So they pull will head to the bench. Elijah Tucker is the line for Xavier. One and one. First free throw goes for Elijah Tucker. And it's Marquette basketball. Corbett. There's a handoff. Corbett, great passer. You can really see. And he throws it out. <laughs> you, you, you know that was about to happen, right? You, you, you just, okay, let's get him out the game, coach. <laughs> he turned it over. He turned it over once. Get him out the game. Just the third turnover for Marquette in this game. Remember, in the second game that they played this season, the one-point Marquette win, Marquette turned it over, over only seven times. Xavier turned it over 17 times. The back rim and Joplin with the rebound. Cole hesitation. Marquette and no rush now. Nope, some of his clock up big. Ross off the glass. Mitchell knocks it out of bounds. What makes this Marquette team also really special is that your leader. Tyler Cole doesn't take chances with the basketball. He's sure of himself. And that trickles down to everybody else. That's why they're such a low turnover team, is they don't try to make the dramatic, fancy passes. They make the simple passes that lead to positive results. Kolek, 18 points on 8 of 16 shooting, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. And a blocking foul. Take a look at the tournament resume for Marquette. 17 and 3. Strength of schedule 45. The net rating is after this a two seed. I think they can compete with anybody in the country because of their defensive discipline. They may be a little smaller. We talked about that, but they make it up by their physical presence and how they play defense. And they complement each other rebounding wise. Again, they're going to give up some height. They're going to force teams to be uncomfortable on the perimeter. Colby Jones. Ball batted around and out of bounds off of Xavier. Shaka Smart, first head coaching job at VCU. He was there for six seasons. Leading them from first four to final four in 2011. Five straight NCAA tournament appearances. And went to Texas. Not so successful. But back in the state of Wisconsin. Now with Marquette. And he has them five minutes and 37 seconds away from not only the regular season Big East Championship, but also the tournament championship and the automatic NCAA tournament bid. And finishing the season on a nine-game winning streak, capping it off, like you said, with the tournament championship, raking up the awards, but having the momentum heading into the tournament as a possible number two seed. Cam Jones. 17 to go. Back door, Mitchell, and he's fouled by Kunkel. Yeah. 
has once again just connected mentally this Marquette team still running their offense with precision still cutting passing in the bigger picture you win this game and put yourself in a situation to go deep in March all the time on the court counts guys towards that Second free throw goes 60 to 38 masterpiece for Shaka Smart and the Golden Eagles of Marquette. This has been a masterpiece in the Big East Championship game. Especially on the defensive end. As that one is tipped up and in for Jerome Hunter. I think what makes this Marquette team so tough to go nine deep and when you go to your bench, Gus is not a drop off. You know, defensive effort, offensive effort, those things stay consistent. I thought a player for Marquette this evening that's really, that really should get a, a shout out is Sean Jones. The way he guarded Sule Boom, mm -hmm. it took everything away from him. Who had no answers for him, and just like you said, Muggsy Bowles, he got underneath him, and that was so disruptive. Well, think about this, and probably in practice, he's going against another Bulldog and Stevie Mitchell. I'll say, and he's playing against Tyler Cole. So he, you want to play in this game, you want to crack some minutes, the best way to do it is to be a heck of a defensive player. Now you define your role, you're on the court, and offensively when you have some shots, you can take it. But that's playing your part, and it goes back to the accountability part at the beginning of the season. Saying, Sean Jones, we want you to be that bulldog coming off the bench. Except that role. That's right. Jones from Gahanna, Lincoln High School, Gahanna, Ohio, right outside of Columbus. Kunkel. Three. There he has 11 points. 417 to play. Cam Jones. Couple now. Trump by Kohler. Edwards draws a double team. Uncle, another three. And he hits it again. And a timeout has been called by Marquette. 3.53 to go. Second half. 60 players. That they just move like pros. Yep. There's a difference. And they have a, a style and a grace and ease, a confidence. And Tyler Kolick is one of those players. And you did it again. And you just made him turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> the same, when you gave me two outstanding compliments, he turned it over both times. We're going to have to have a conversation with Tyler. <laughs> Lead down to 13. Yeah. 336 to go. 8 0 run for Xavier. They've trailed by as many as 27. And who could forget what happened with the Iowa-Michigan State game this year? Kolek. That stops the bleeding. Iowa down. 11 with a minute to go. And somehow they came back and forced the game into overtime and won it. You never know. NCAA tournament since 1992. I was two years out of college. So it's we, right? That's right. French. That's right. Okay. I am speaking French. I am a bison. There we go. Here's Kolek, but more importantly, 63 to 50. Yep. Xavier whittling this down. This 2-3 zone has been effective for Sean Miller. Quieting the offensive effectiveness of Marquette. Hence, you see a lower shooting percentage. We should have went to that a little bit earlier. Kolek. For the shoot. Up top, Jones. No good. Kunkel gathers it. 2.28 to play. Kobe Jones. Back door. Claw circles. Xavier 
needs to hurry now. Clark. And he turns it over. Cam Jones, cross court, Kovic, and he'll slow it down and milk the clock. An excellent defense by Iguodala in space was able to guard a smaller, quicker opponent, but they couldn't turn the corner. That's the value of having maybe undersized in some aspect, but his ability to draw on the perimeter is an asset. Kovic, three to shoot. Mitchell lets it fly. Rims off. Jones the other way. Comfort. Fade away. With 129 to go, and we'll head the other way. Senior foul. Number two, Jerome Hunter, is second. That'll be on Jerome Hunter, his second. Uncle pushes the tempo right here. Shot goes up. Hunter. Oh, Max right in the back pushes him right there. Easy call for the official. Prosper played some great defense in this tournament. Also, a winning contributor on offense. He's got seven points tonight. Xavier averages 82.6 points per game. And it looks like Marquette is going to hold them to a season low. Their season low this year, 63. with a minute and 25 to go in the Big East Championship game. On the game that Marquette won at home in February, they held Xavier to 68 points. That's been the game for Xavier in a nutshell. Yeah, and as frustrating as it is right now for Xavier, I still think this is a quality team that can get to the second weekend in the NCAA tournament. You know in conference, coaches know each other extremely well. As the Marquette fans rise to their feet to congratulate their champions, Cam Jones 3. Out of bounds, and it's Xavier Ball with 49.4 seconds remaining. The Marquette Golden Eagles, regular season champions. They will improve to 28 and 6 on the season. Only three conference losses, 17 wins for Marquette during the regular season. And now Shaka Smart will clear his bench. Tyler Kolick. Gets big hugs from his teammates. What a player. Style. Swagger. Grace. TK. Shock Smart. Only his second season, and he's brought a regular season and a conference tournament championship to Milwaukee. RJ. Wilson in the game. Here comes Kunkel the other way. 20 seconds to go. Rebound inside. Edwards at a foul. With 13.4 seconds remaining. A lot of hugs. Smiles. Been a long season. But they're going to walk out of New York City with a chip in their back pocket. Cesar Edwards.
The Marquette defense dominated. And on top of that, they turned it over only four times. Ten seconds ago. And that'll do it. 65-51, Marquette. The Golden Eagles are Big East Tournament champions.